I'm just going to go through the installation of Microsoft.NET Framework in Windows 8.1. Many desktop applications require the installation of the Microsoft.NET Framework, and Microsoft, for some reason, decided not to pre-install it with Windows 8.1. Next, I'm going to install Microsoft Mathematics and compare it with the Calculator app and the Calculator desktop application, both which are terrible in comparison. So if I try to install Microsoft Mathematics in Windows 8.1, the setup will launch and then flag up an error saying that Microsoft.NET Framework 3.5 Service Pack 1 is not installed. And I won't be able to proceed with the setup until I install this. So I need to right click the Start button and select Programs and Features. And then I need to select the Turn Windows Features On or Off tab. And I need to check the Microsoft.NET Framework at the top. It will search for the files and determine that you need to get them from Windows Update. So select this and wait for the files to download and install. Now you can install any program which requires the Microsoft.NET Framework, such as Microsoft Mathematics. And I'll just go through the install of this now. And I'm prompted about the additional add-in for Word and Excel. But I've already downloaded this on the desktop, so I'll just install it as well. And now Microsoft Mathematics is installed. So I'm just going to launch it. And I'm just going to compare the power of Microsoft Mathematics to the standard calculator app and the standard calculator desktop application. So the first thing we can notice is that we can do things like differentiation and integration. And it's really dead easy. It's a what you see is what you get interface. Very similar to what you expect in a scientific calculator. And whilst it doesn't compare to dedicated applications such as MATLAB or Maple, one thing you should know about Microsoft Mathematics is that it's absolutely free. So why it isn't pre-installed in Windows or as part of the Office suite, I don't know. It's sadly often overlooked and people are using the rubbish Microsoft Calculator application or Microsoft Calculator desktop application from Windows 95. So you can input some matrices as well. I'll just do a very simple multiplication. But you can see how easy it is to input these. So these are the standard settings that one would expect when they purchase a scientific calculator. Obviously, you have the advantage that this is on a Windows operating system and you've got a full keyboard to type in your calculations quickly. And you can install it on any Windows computer. So there's a lot of advantages that way. Also, we have the graphing tab. So I'm just going to type in some function. And then I'm going to type in an additional function. Just some random functions for demonstration purposes. And then I'm going to select graph. And you can see that it's essentially plotted the functions like a um, graphics calculator would. And you've got the additional advantage that this is run on a Windows operating system with a Word and Excel um, plugin, so you can simply copy and paste to Word and Excel if you're writing up a quick report. There's also basic unit converters, so I'll just demonstrate quickly and then just go through the menu so you can see what it can do. So this is just a quick overview of Microsoft Mathematics. It's essentially a free graphics calculator for the Microsoft Windows operating system. 
and you've seen some advantages that this has over a standard graphics calculator. Obviously, paid packages such as Maple and MATLAB are a thousand times better at least, but then again, they cost an arm and a leg. So, depending on what you need, this does most of the basics required. S certainly up to high school level anyway. So now I'm just going to save this worksheet and then I'm going to launch the Windows calculator and the Metro calculator, both which are terrible in comparison. Let's just open up Scientific. Let's see how useless it is in comparison to Microsoft Mathematics. And we'll open the new Metro calculator and we see that it's almost just as bad. So my feedback for Windows 10 is to make Microsoft Mathematics the default calculator or an advanced tab in the default calculator.